All right, so what I've done here, um, clamped the uh, Badlands Harbor Freight winch plate down to the frame. I've centered everything how I'd like it to be, so I marked a center, lined it up. Same thing on this side. Um, made sure that there's some clearance back here so it's not rubbing. And I've taken the pencil and I've marked all around here and around the, the frame this way. Then we can cut off the uh, to make this fit flush with the with the um, with the frame. Transferring my uh, my lines. So there's the the marks I made on the bottom, and I've just transferred those up to the top. I'm gonna do that over here. Um, then I'm gonna use a uh, cutoff wheel to to cut this off. So uh, for me, it ended up being five centimeters and yeah I'm gonna use centimeters and hurt some minds here instead of inches but it's just a better unit uh, five centimeters the whole way across I've already marked them and then I'm just gonna use the straight edge now to mark that line so the next thing I'm gonna do um, I've kind of scored the line but I've decided I'm gonna take a drill bit on the uh, on the press here, I'm gonna drill a hole right here that I can meet up with, and that'll make it so that there's not a sharp uh, 90 degree corner here. A 90 degree corner is where something would be more likely to uh, to crack and fracture. So, gonna drill a hole right in here. Um, and then I'll be back. It's been about half an hour, so here's where we are. Uh, we were able to cut these out with the, I just used a four inch cutoff wheel on the on a small grinder. It's actually a little four inch, four and a half inch Harbor Freight grinder. Um, worked perfectly fine. This is all ready to be attached. You can see here it sticks out a little bit on the front right there maybe a little less than three quarters of an inch and yeah I used inches now when earlier I used centimeters but that's the way I do things. I do have a little bit more play than what I initially planned in here and that's perfectly fine. It means I don't have to have it so tight to the uh, grill like I had before. Next we need to focus. Next we need to uh, Get these drilled out for however I'm gonna put these and I got to measure the the frame and center it uh, and measure up so now I need to make sure this is all uh, centered so we're gonna pull this up to there so that that's nice and close pull this up here so it's nice and close give myself the gap in the back and we need to find the center of this which is pretty easy. You can see the center right there. So you come up here and you mark the center. And you come back here and you can see the frame through here. So you mark the center right there. This is already marked. Let me do the same thing on the other side. So we've drilled the uh, the first half inch hole here. Uh, how I did this, uh, I'm gonna show you here, but I will not be using this hole. I took my hole punch, just set it in there, and you push on it till it clicks. Do it a couple times. It'll give you a nice divot. Pre-drill uh, the hole with a small drill bit, and then move forward to your half inch drill bit with the plate off, as you can see, that half inch grade eight fits perfectly inside there. Uh, the next one will probably be done around here. Also, uh, I'll be drilling the holes in this plate 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna clamp this whole thing down with these guys. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. So that's gonna be clamped down. I'll also clamp down this side, uh, right here. I'll, re I'll pull out this bolt. Uh, then I'm gonna start my hole here, drill through with a small drill bit, then drill through with the, uh, um, probably I'll punch all of these, pre-drill with a small drill bit, go into the, uh, go over to the uh, drill press, drill the quarter inch, half inch holes out, then come back and drill out the half inch holes in the frame. Uh, the drill press will just be easier for this half in or for this quarter uh, plate. Okay, so uh, we're all done drilling the holes. We're all done uh, smoothing the edges here. Everything's nice and smooth. Nothing's going to cut. Uh, same on this side. Just two holes on this side. Uh, all nice and smooth. Uh, I wasn't going to put one here, but I decided to drill one anyway, even though it attaches to this hole. Uh, it's kind of just for, um, just to keep pressure on it once you uh, tighten it all up. Uh, rounded the edge here, which would hopefully prevent any cracking or anything like that. Now, I sprayed the uh, holes that we put in here just with some bed liner that I had. And I'm gonna clean this guy off with some uh, brake cleaner and spray it up. All right, and here it is, uh, just sitting in place. All the holes line up. That guy, that guy, and that one. And over here we've got this one, this one, and that one. I have not yet opened this up to get in. Uh, Put the nuts in. I have another idea that might work, and uh, I'm gonna give this another little touch up here. You can see right there. There's a little scuff. But the rest of it's pretty good. Okay, and so right around this point, it started pouring buckets outside to the point where I just had to get things done. And it was too loud. There's a Jeep. And it was too loud to uh, to actually record anything. I wanted to film the part that I that I did get because I thought that that was the most challenging part when I was trying to research it. And that was one of the components that I couldn't find was you know how it was cut and how people have been attaching it to the frame and things like that. Uh, all that wasn't filmed was you know chopping the bumper so that it fits and when you chop the bumper you remove the bumper from the vehicle which you'll have to do anyhow to install the winch plate you can also remove the plastic portion of the bumper from the metal portion of the bumper you'll have to do that then you'll need to cut down the the metal off of the upper center of the bumper uh, just above the fog lights uh, and pretty much straight across the width of the uh, the winch plate if you look online You'll be able to find some pictures of people who have already done it. If I think about it, I'll add some links in the description below to show you the pictures. I don't want to take anyone's anyone's pictures or take credit for it. Uh, then you'll have to ch uh, chop up the plastic bumper. I found that the best way to do it was just to kind of hold it up there, get it as a you know get a general rough cut out of it, get that done, and then slowly put it on a little more at a time until until I was able to to get it to fit now some of the final cuts I did I did take off too much material I took off about half an inch too much it still looks fine from a distance <laughs> up close you can tell that it's a little bit more uh, removed than what you know maybe I would have liked but it's really not bad a bunch of people have looked at it and no one thinks it looks bad so that's that's a bonus and it's gonna last just fine until I get a bumper or uh, yeah in the meantime I'll probably just fill it up with some with some foam or something like that so good luck guys hope it works out for you uh, 
enjoy